Greetings salutations guys, Hayden here. Welcome to our late night live sale this Saturday, November 5, 2022. How is everyone doing tonight? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Also, if you're watching this live after the live is already over and you're watching the replay, check down below in the description box. Items availability and pricing will be down there. And all the rules and stuff for the sale are going to be right there. But if you have any questions, definitely feel free to let me know. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. So happy to have you here. Welcome to the Thrift Squad. Uh, tonight is our third and final um, chance to enter the giveaway to win this beautiful brand new Holiday Starbucks tumbler has a little mushroom on top. It's so cute. And uh, let's see who's in here really quickly. Uh, let's see. There's West Coast Gal. Hello. There's Linda Lobster. There's Veronica. Hi, Veronica. There's Patty. Elizabeth. The Dodo Bird. Hi, Boots. There's Cindy. Hello. Uh, Pauline. Hi, Pauline. Dodo Bird. Uh, Patty, I think I already said that. Oh, Odelia, hello, Odelia. There's Melissa. Uh, oh, Bevan's in here. Hi, Brit. Brit. Uh, Brit. Uh, Brit. <laughs> Hi, Brit. Um, and Anna. Hi, Anna. Hi, guys. Hope you guys are all having a great evening today. My, my family was over. They literally just left, like, a little bit ago, and I was able to gather everything together. We had... Uh, I remember I told you guys that yesterday we were going to do something and then we switched it to today. So we had it today and everyone came to the house and it was so much fun. It was also my aunt's birthday, which was really nice. We got to celebrate her birthday too. And two of my cousins are actually still here, but they're hanging out with John upstairs. They're watching something about League of Legends or something. So, yeah. But hi, Fantastic. Hi. Let's see who else is in here. Also, I don't know if anyone else is like this, but whenever we have parties, I feel like I never really eat anything. Like, I literally only had, like, two small bowls of soup, and then I was just, like, busy running around everywhere. So tonight, I just have some pasta right here that's leftovers from today, and it's so good. It's just a, a white sauce pasta with chicken. Um, nothing crazy, but it's so delicious. And I have my Diet Pepsi as well. Hi, Lorita. How are you? Hi, Tara. Oh, Tara. How are you feeling? I hope you're feeling better. Hi, Kathleen, Katie. Hi, guys. Hi, Anita. There's Laura. Okay, I forgot what the question was. Hopefully, since I'm home, I can stay awake. Oh, you're home already, Tara. That's good to hear. Um, what, Edie, were you the one that thought of the other question I wanted to use today? If it was, can you write out or type out the question again? And then I'll pop it up right over here for our giveaway question. And then I will get that link for the giveaway. We're using the same link that it's been for the past three days. So that way you guys have those um, three chances to enter for our giveaway. Hi, Veronica. How are you? Ooh, you guys want to see some photos from today? Hold on, let me take a bite of this. Mm -mm. Hi, Purple Rain. How are you? Am I on the fast internet tonight? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, let me pop up some photos from today. I know you guys want to see my ants because they're so cute. Um, hold on. We had like a cute group photo, but I feel like I look crazy in every single one because we took like a little selfie. We went on a little hike uh, earlier this evening, like around sunset. And... Oh, it's okay, Edie. Um, but yeah, okay, if anyone can help me think of a question, we'll use that for tonight's giveaway question. I honestly don't even remember what it was anymore. I just remember that it, I think it was Edie that thought of a question yesterday. But if anyone could help me think of one, that'd be fantastic. Oh, top two YouTube channels. There you go. What are your favorite two YouTube channels? Oh, this is the photo. There you go. Isn't that so cute? All right, West Coast gal, I'm going to pop that up. Thank you for the question. And 
let me put that link here in the live chat. There we go. Leave your answer in the comments. And again, tonight's the last time or last night to enter to win. Oh, there we go. Here we are. This really gorgeous Starbucks tumbler. Yay! Okay. Oh, thank you, Tara. <laughs> but other than myself, you don't have to put me. It's okay. <laughs> but those are my aunts. Hi, Sally. How are you? Okay. And then, oh. Let's see what other photos we have. It was pretty much just like a little photo shoot for my, <laughs> my mom and my aunts. Uh, we went like... Um, up, t we have like this, like hiking trail behind our house, and then it goes on t like up like this hill, and at the very top there's like a little track, and the sunsets are really pretty up there. So, I took some photos. Uh, okay, let's take that one down. This is uh, right before, like, the sun was, like, starting to kind of set already. So that was right there. Isn't that so pretty? I feel like it could, I couldn't really capture, like, how gorgeous the sun was, or, like, the sunset was. It was a little bit more difficult. But they were just having the time of their lives. They were like, take pictures of us everywhere. I took a picture of them next to like this bush that had red flowers on it, which was kind of funny. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, my bro, do you hear that? My brother and my cousins are going crazy. They're like watching like a video, like not uh, like a video game tournament, I think. And it sounds like they're yelling at a sports match, like literally. And then here's that, like the giant bush slash tree. It had like these red, I don't know if they were berries. Are they berries? No, red flowers. So that's that. That's so cute. And that's my aunt at the very end of the photo. She's wearing like the long jacket. It was her daughter, my cousin, that got married uh, on Thursday. So, yeah. It was a lot of fun. And it was my, my aunt, oh, I already took down the photo. And my aunt that had the gray sweater, it was her birthday. Um, I know I took a really pretty photo of her, where is it? Oh yeah, I, re I got a really good photo of her at the, with the sunset, here it is. I'll pop this up, it was her birthday. And she was actually in the Philippines for a while and she just got back to the US. Because my other cousin, her daughter, is actually in the Philippines uh, and she's there doing nursing school. So she primarily stays with her like for most of the year. While like my uncle, her husband, and my other cousin, they live here in California. But it was her birthday. We had a little birthday photo shoot for her. Like the sky was so pretty. Like she looked so pretty, right? And the sky was like, gorgeous it matched like her hair like it looked like it was glowing the same color so oh my gosh Rodelia the cake was so good at the wedding I was so happy I had I literally had like three slices okay well I'll stop showing you guys photos actually let me show you guys one more photo <laughs> It's my, um, I think it's of, of all my aunts and uncles. And, hold on. They had, like, a really cute photo inside the house when they were eating. Oh, here we go. Let's do this one. Okay. Last photo. Promise. It was such an impromptu, like, party, like, 
get together too. And not all of my aunts and uncles could attend. Um, so this is just like a small amount of them. And then, oh, let me pop a photo of me and my cousins and my brother and sister. The boys were like literally nowhere to be found though. Like Zach, Elizo, and Cade, they were just, they came down to eat really quickly and then they ran back upstairs to, um, to play video games and stuff. So that's, those are my parents and my aunts and uncles. And then here's a photo of my cousins right there. There you go. That's us. Um, we were sitting at the kids' table. <laughs> but yeah, so those are my those are my two cousins. I don't know if you guys have ever seen them before, but oh well, my one co the one cousin on the right next to my sister, he's the one that we went to his graduation from nursing school uh, not too long ago. I remember I told you guys about that. So he's taking his NCLEX, I think, in like two weeks. So we're all crossing our fingers and saying a prayer for him that he does well and passes and all that good stuff. But yeah, okay. <laughs> so those were the photos. Um, but yeah, it was so much fun. I didn't get to go thrifting today. Um, so <laughs> that was like kind of like uh, the only downfall for having the get together today. But it's okay, because it was worth it. We had a lot of fun. And it was such a beautiful day today, too. So it was nice. And it was, like, not super cold. It was, like, 72 degrees. Oh, thank you, Tara. Thank you, guys. Um, but let me leave the link one more time. Hi, Fox. How are you? Also, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. That always helps the channel immensely. I would greatly appreciate it. There's the link for the question tonight. What are your top two favorite YouTubers other than myself? You guys don't have to put me. It's okay. Um, I'm always looking for new YouTube channels to watch also. So that is fantastic. Mm -mm -mm. Hold on, I'm going to take a bite really quick. Oh, you're welcome, Jocelyn. I'm glad you guys like the photos. All right, well, let's get started. Wait, first of all, did everyone have a good day today? Did you guys have a good Saturday? Did anyone do anything fun? Did anyone go thrifting? It's cold here. Oh, 39 degrees. That's cold. Oh, Boots, how was it? Did you, like, um... What was it? Did you... I remember yesterday you were like deciding on an outfit and a bag, so I kind of want to know what you wore. All right, let me get our first item though ready. I have some goodies. I also have some bags from my aunt. Um, she gave me some of her old bags that she was um, getting rid of. So she was like, can you sell these for me? And I was like, okay. So I have some of her stuff as well. Uh, so let's start off with that. Let's do some of my aunt stuff. Let's do, what do we have? Oh, okay. I have this Furla. This one is still, wait, is it actually Furla? Yes, it is. Okay, first bag is a Furla. It's still in the dust bag. Oh, it's raining. Oh, that sounds so nice, Edie. A baby shower for your son and daughter-in-law. How fun. But yeah, Boots, how was the party? Was it a Filipino party? You know, you, you like gotta love a Filipino party. Okay, this is the bag. It is this black furla satchel. And it doesn't have, like, a crossbody strap. I don't believe it um, was supposed to come with one. It's just, it just is purely a top handle. Though, if you wanted to, you can attach a crossbody strap uh, to the rings right here that the, that the top handle 
straps are attached to. Um, the body of the bag is like in this black, kind of like uh, Safiano style leather. And then the top flaps, there's one on each side. These are in a black patent. And then it has gold hardware. There's a little furla button right there. And on the other side, it says furla right there on a leather tab piece. And each part opens up. Nice large pockets. The interior of the pockets are in, I believe that says suede. Yeah, they're in suede. So that's the one side. And then the other side, they're both just snap pockets. The pockets are pretty large too. And I don't think like it'll fit like a laptop inside of here. Probably like an iPad mini will fit inside. But the top does zip and it is in a black patent leather on the inside and then also suede. And there is just one open pocket right there. And it's in great shape. The bag is beautiful. The corners are nice. It does also have feet on the bottom. And it will come with a dust bag. Um, oh, hold on. Let me see what you guys have been saying. For an hour and found a brand walker dress. Also new carpet down the garage. Oh, nice, Katie. That sounds like you had a really productive day. It's great to have, like, a space for, like, all of your work and stuff for I know you like resell also so that's amazing and Bryn Walker I've heard of that brand I don't think I've ever found anything though lots of food desserts oh that's awesome I'm glad you had fun boots um, oh hi Madame Goomba oh no worries uh, we were in the car and we went over to Snow Call Pass tomorrow is my brother's memorial day Aw, oh, Kathleen. That's definitely bittersweet. For sure. Yeah, our, our thoughts and prayers are definitely with you, Kathleen. Whoa, Rochester? We used to live near Rochester, uh, New York back when we lived in New York. We lived in Mount Kisco. It was like a small little town. I think that's in, is it in Rochester County? I think so. I don't remember. I know like the mall that we went to that was close was like White Plains Mall. I think that was like the closest one. Okay, so this is our black furla. Black furla. Um, handbag in black Safiano leather. Um, with gold hardware. Fadrin, are you still there? Okay, and we're going to do this one for $80, and this will come with the dust bag, too. So that's item number one, our black frilla. Oh, that's awesome, Boots. Okay, so this is item number one. This is our frilla. All right, item number two is going to be... Oh, let's do... Mount Gisco is near. Oh, okay. It's that far away. Why did I think it was so much closer? <laughs> but I I was young when we lived there. Like, we moved to California um, when I was... How old was I? Like, six or seven. So, 
We were there for like a few years though, when we first moved from the Philippines. Okay, item number two. These are Ray Ban Clubmasters, and these are in black with gold metal. And then it's just like black plastic, and then the gold metal frames around the bottom, and then the details as well. These have um, prescription lenses in them, though. So you'd have to switch them out. So you can do them either as glasses or just do regular sunglasses with or without a prescription. But these are our Ray-Ban Club Masters. And this is how they look. I wish these were big enough to look good on me, but unfortunately... My head is too big for these, but they look kind of cool. Oh, this person's vision wasn't actually that bad. I'm kind of dizzy, though. But this is how they look on. Okay. Hi, Style Chat. How are you? I'm in between Buffalo. Okay, Bevin. I, I kind of know, like, Syracuse. Hi, Sarah. Okay, so this is our black and gold Ray-Ban um, Club Masters prescription sunglasses. And these are $30. I'm good, Style Chat. Thank you for asking. We had a wonderful... Um, little gathering at the house today, so it's always nice to get to see family. So that was item number two. These guys right there are club masters. Then item number three, I have... Oh, I have this guy. This is cute. This is just a little coach crossbody bag, and it's in a pearlescent, like tan color like I don't know if the pearlescence is coming off on camera you can kind of see that like it's like a little shiny right like it's not like super shiny but it kind of has um like a sheen to it that's really pretty and then it has this yellow enamel buckle and it actually has silver hardware which I think is a nice touch and there is a back pocket right here it's nice and large to throw your cell phone in so your cell phone will fit all the way inside of that back pocket. It's a smaller bag, but it definitely will still hold a lot. It still has the little hang tag on the side as well. This is a crossbody bag. The strap is not adjustable or removable though. And this is a magnetic flap. The interior does have some discoloration underneath that top flap. You can see some slight discoloration to the fabric and like right there as well. There is just one interior um, a zipper pocket inside of there. Uh, the interior is actually in pretty good shape. There's less marks than there are on the top, under, on the underneath part of the top flap. Um, the exterior leather is in pretty good shape. There is a little bit of rubbing though on some of the corners, like right there, and a little bit along the sides as well. Nothing like super duper obvious. I think the most noticeable mark is probably on the back right here, right at the top in where this crease is, but it's on the back. So you're not even going to see it when you're wearing the bag. Um, what else was I going to say about this bag? Um, there's a little bit of the fabric coming undone right there, but I think just a little bit of fabric glue will help it from kind of like unraveling and kind of just like keeping it back inside there. Like the stitching is all good and stuff. Like just a little bit of it is like coming out from where it's folded in in the seam. But other than that though, that is the bag. Um, it's a really pretty color. Oh, that's so nice, Style Chat. It's always nice to see friends that you haven't seen in a really long time. It's always like a nice little reunion. So this is our small Coach Tan Pearlescent Leather Crossbody Flap Bag with silver hardware and yellow enamel buckle. And this one, we're just going to do this one for just $20. $20 for our little Coach Bag. 
That is item number three. It's super cute. It's actually in really great condition, um, save for the couple little marks on the back and some of the rubbing on the corners and like that darkening underneath. Oh, Don's calling it number three. Congratulations, Don. Let me get my gavel. Yay. Congrats, Don. First sale of the evening. Let's go to Don. Item number three. Congrats. Okay. Let's get that guy over there. All right, let's go to item number four. Oh, do you do, Don? Nice. It's a cute little bag. I know, it's not a black bag. But, Boots, she already has the black version of that bag. <laughs> okay, our next item is going to be item number four. Let me take a bite of this. Mm -hmm. Am I going to do a clothing piece? Maybe. I think all the clothes I have are like a size small though. So, unless anyone... Uh, maybe let's just do... Okay, let me, let's just, let me actually do some shoes. I have these black Rothies. They're in really great shape. Um, very minimal signs of wear. Like, look at the bottoms of those. Like, there's very minimal wear. The insoles are in great shape as well. These are a size 8. So, size 8, black Rothies in fantastic condition. Black Rothies, size 8. And these are how much, Vadrine? All right, we're going to do these guys for $45. Um, Carrie, what size shoe are you? Because I do have another pair of black Rothies. I don't think I brought them out, though, but I think they're like a size 9 or 10. They're, a large, they're definitely a larger size than these. All right, black Rothies. Put those over there. Up next. I have Don. Oh yeah, they're off by a half size. I'm sorry. Oh, you guys, this is really pretty. Um, this is also from my aunt. This is a Kate Spade, a little crossbody bag. It is so stinking cute. It does have the little Kate Spade care book like in the inside. Look at the interior lining. It is so fun. It's like a cream and gold polka dot. It's super clean inside of there. There is not a mark to be seen. And it is in, I believe this is like a buffalo leather. I'm not 100% sure. But it it is nice and tough. It feels kind of like a soft piano style. You know how like it's nice and structured. But I believe this is like a buffalo leather. But I'm not 100% certain. But just know that it is leather and it is... Um, Nice and structured. I love the shape and silhouette, and the color is really nice, too. It's like a royal blue. And it has this cream contrasting stitching, and it has light gold hardware. There's the front right there. Such a pretty bag. Crossbody strap is adjustable. And, yeah, it, it has a dust bag, but it's not like a Kate Spade dust bag. It's just a no-brand dust bag that my aunt kept it in. But this is item number uh, five, I think. Oh, okay. Seven and a half to eight in shoes. Okay, Carrie. Uh, so this is item number five. Royal blue Kate Spade mini flap bag. Um, the width of the bag. Let me check. Width is seven and a half inches. Let's do the phone test. I think it will fit my phone. Oh, yeah. Phone fits in there beautifully with the room to spare. And this guy. Okay, it's being fun. With gold heart. And how much is this feeder in? 
All right, we're going to do this guy for 75. Lisa with... Okay, that's good to know, Lisa. Thank you. So we will definitely know to size up for Rothy's. Okay, and that is our Kate Spade. This one is in, like, new condition. My aunt has kept it in pristine shape. Um, here's what the bottom looks like. And then, I don't remember if I showed you guys the back. But it's a really cute bag. Really pretty. Okay. I just put that strap back inside. Hi, Diana. How are you? All right. Our next item. So I'm going to try to put this back in there. Okay. Number six, uh, let's do, I have this great Michael Kors like hobo shoulder bag and it's like in this gray taupe pebbled leather. It has gold hardware. It does have like some signs of wear. There is like some rubbing on the corner. So it's a little bit, um, has a little bit of discoloration at the corners. You can see there's kind of like a little darkening right there and some on the back and there are um, some marks on the bottom as well. There's like a red, I don't know if that's like a pen mark or like a marker or like nail polish. I think some of the marks will come out but we're selling this one as an as is bag. There also is some darkening underneath the shoulder strap but the top part is in good shape. This does also uh, zip across the top. The zipper works really well. And the interior is actually in really good shape. There's just like a couple small pen marks, I think. Yeah, at the very, very bottom. I think I can turn this inside out. There's a... Where's that pen mark go? There's a pen mark right there. And then there's a pen mark in this top pocket in the inside. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's no worries. And no, we will, of course we'll change the price to whatever to that twenty dollars one. We'll just refund you like the ten dollars. Or if you see something else, we'll just put it towards it. So we'll just wait till um the end of the sale and then if you find something else we'll credit you back that ten dollars. Otherwise we'll add it to um, anything else that you might see. So that is no worries at all. Don't feel bad at all, please. There's also a little, um, what is this? Key ring holder right there. And it has four interior pockets and then a zipper pocket right there. But yeah, the bag is not in bad shape. It just does have a little bit of like discoloration, primarily on the corners and the bottom and a couple little pin marks on the inside and underneath that shoulder strap. No, Don, we definitely will. It's okay, there's no trouble at all. Okay, so this is our Grey Taupe uh, Michael Kors Hobo Shoulder Bag. And this one is as is. And again, it doesn't have too much wear at all, but it does have a little bit more wear than I like. So that one's $25. If anyone is interested in this guy. Well, this is also a good like a rehab practice bag if you want. Oh, number 26, going to Boots. Congratulations, Boots. <laughs> going to you. Um, I know, Diana, how have you been? Yeah, I feel like you people definitely have been asking about you. Hope you're doing well. Wait, what did you say, Vadrian? Um, yellow, green, or pink. I do still have the yellow uh, Balenciaga. And as for pink, do I have anything pink right now that I brought out? Um, I may or may not have some pink bags. Let me grab the yellow Balenciaga really quick. And... Hadrian, any shoes? Oh, are you talking about boots, Diana? Or just shoes in general? I have any pink over here? Oh, I 
do have this. I want to have like this. Uh, where is this again? Oh, Sophie Holmes. That's pink. Mm. This Raspberry Michael Kors. That's pink, right? Okay. Okay. I got a couple things. Let me show this yellow Balenciaga first. I still have this guy. It's the yellow Balenciaga Velo satchel. And it has this mustard colored yellow leather, rose gold hardware. This is the style that has the long crossbody strap, which is fantastic. So you can wear this as a crossbody. It is adjustable and removable. And it does have the removable mirror in here as well. The only thing is this bag does have some love marks on it. It has some, there's a mark right there, some right there. The corners have some rubbing. But I feel like all these things are just typical of what happens to the Balenciaga bags because their leather just does that over time. I still think it's a beautiful bag though, but just know that there is some like marks. There are marks throughout. The, in the interior is super nice and clean though. There's one zipper pocket in the back and then two open pockets on the other side. The zippers work beautifully. And the, uh, like the rope kind of ties around the bag. Um, it's in pretty good shape. Like this side is really good. There is like some discoloration on there. And this side, this side has the most wear to it, but it's still in good shape too. And the handles um, aren't pretty good shape also, not too much darkening, which does always happen to these, um, the handles of the bags because they have, they're, you, uh, they use a, what is it called? A vegetable dyed leather. So it does like patina over time, but the crossbody strap definitely helps it out. So, and this is going to be item number, uh, Number seven. Yellow Balenciaga Velo Satchel with Rose Gold Hardware. I think we had this one at $350, but I'm going to lower it even more for you guys. So tonight, we're going to do a special discount. We're just going to do this one for $300 only. So if anyone is interested, tonight is your night. That is item number seven. $300 for a Balenciaga Velo, if anyone is interested. Um, okay. Um, I'm glad you're doing a lot better, Diana. And we've missed you. People have been looking for you in the lives. All right. 300 for the Velo. Oh, that's no worries, Carrie. Uh, I have a couple pink bags, too, so I'll work that into um, what I'm showing. Oh, I also do have this guy. This is a rag and bone. Uh, it's a wallet on a chain. This is a little crossbody. Um, and I do... I think that's pretty much it, though. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> Linda. Marion, um, I don't know. Maybe eventually. I just... I, I don't really have uh, the time to do it at the moment, unfortunately. I've just been so busy recently, and I don't foresee um, a lot of free time <laughs> in the foreseeable future. This this is always the busiest time for me. Like November, we're already like we're literally already planning Thanksgiving at our house because it's gonna be huge this year. So. Yeah, we were actually planning it tonight with my other aunts. They're all going to be coming down for Thanksgiving, too. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a huge Thanksgiving party this year. Well, not huge, huge. But I think there's going to be over 40 people, which is usually a lot for us. I feel like that's a lot. Okay, up next... Um, let's do number eight. Wait, what, John? What? What, Khaled? You can open the door. 
I said you can open the door. I can't hear you guys. I'm doing a live sale. I was wondering if you could have these shoes. I have these. Or you want me to give you money for them? You can have them. I love you. I love you too. Happy birthday. There's no way. Oh my god. He's really been wanting those. No, oh, have you? Yeah. Yeah, I've been looking for these. Oh, yeah, you can have them. Thanks, man. This is the power of thrifting, actually. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> That's crazy. Wait, they want to see what you what, what the shoes are. I'm gonna show. I'm just. I'm gonna show. I'm doing a live sale right now, but they wanted to see oh, the shoes. Well hey, chat. My name's Khaled. These are the CDGs. This is a size ten. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking for these. They go for like way too much on the market. But this dude, goaded. Are there white ones over there too? I don't know. Good luck. I think they're white ones too. They may or may not also be the same size. Or there might be some flat top ones that are also the same size. Are they in that box? They might be in another box with shoes. Are they in there? Uh, no. Oh, I don't have, I didn't bring them out then. When I find them, I'll let you know. I don't know. They may or may not be. Because I, I found another, like, I have two other ones. Because I, I, I think they're full, they're like the low top ones. Yeah, I think they're low top. But I don't know what size they are. But I have a white pair and a black pair. In a size 10? Okay, when I find them, I'll let you know if they're size ten. I have them somewhere in one of those in one of my bins. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Khaled is shopping. Oh yeah, they like your shoes. They said they're sick. Yes. <laughs> Oh, um, oh, Diana, you were asking if I had any more boots. Boots, boots, boots. What kind of boots? I still have the Chanel boots. And then I have... John, are there any boots in that bin over there? Hold on, guys. Let me look really quick. Yep, 
Jordans? Sorry guys, I'll be right back. I'm getting shoes. Hey guys, I'm back. My cousins were shopping through my shoes, and <laughs> they got, I had like a bunch of, um, Comme des Garçons ones, and they fit them, so very exciting. Sorry to be gone for so long. Um, okay, sorry guys, I am back though, and... Let's continue. I did get a lot of shoes, though, because I brought out all my shoe bins that uh, my cousins were looking at. And I know that our friend Diana, you're a size 8, 8.5, Diana. Um, and I just pretty much grabbed all the shoes that I had. So I think this might also be turning into a shoe sale because I have so many shoes. So I have these 6.5... Rothy's in like a mint to green. These are brand new. <laughs> Done. Oh no, I still have my pasta. 
But yeah, oh, here you guys, let me leave the link again one more time. Again, I was so sorry that I left for a hot second, but I was grabbing all the shoes, and there we go. Okay, so we're going to do a lot of shoes tonight, because I did grab a lot of shoes, so I'll show you guys these. And I grabbed an assortment of different sizes, too, and yeah, I did grab boots, Diana. Hopefully I found some in your size. I don't know. John just kind of was going through the shoes for me and giving me all the boots that he found. So let's actually start off with a pair of boots first. Let's do item number eight. I'm going to try to go a little faster and show you guys as many shoes as I can. Because I literally have so many shoes. Like, it is crazy. So our first pair of boots, these are Bally boots. These are a size seven and a half, though. But they are just a black pair of boots they have a little heel about an inch high and then they just zip along the sides and they are leather on the interior so just some great black leather bally boots bally makes some amazing shoes one of my favorite pairs of like loafers that i've ever had are bally and i'm so sad that i wore them into the ground and they are no longer with us but bally shoes if you guys have ever had a chance to wear them, are so, so, so nice. And this is just a nice pair of black ballet boots, um, a little bit over, like, your ankle. And, yeah, so you really can't go wrong with these. An inch high. These are size 7.5, so black ballet leather boots, size 7.5. And these are going to be how much, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do these for just $35 for our black ballet boots. Right, Diana? Amazing boots, right? Like, ballet makes some really, really, really great shoes. And these boots are in great condition. Um, the leather is super duper soft. Maybe a little crinkled. <laughs> but in great shape. And the zippers work really nicely on both shoes. And that is going to be item number eight, our black ballet boots. Did you guys find any more shoes? Oh, sorry. If I find more shoes, I'll show you guys them when you come back. See you in two weeks. <laughs> oh, Kathleen, you got number eight. Congratulations. Those boots are fantastic. Yay. All right. Uh, mark those sold to Kathleen. And then I'm going to show you guys just like a lot of shoes right now because I pulled too many and they're all over my um, bags. So let me put this over there. Um, I can't find the other shoe, but these are a size 40. And they are All Saints. And this is like an ankle boot, like a booty, right? Is that what they're called? <laughs> ankle boots. And they are in a metallic embossed snake leather. They're so pretty. It's kind of like an oil slick. It's like a iridescent green, purple, gray colorway. And these are a size 40. I don't exactly know what that equates to. Vadrian is going to look it up for me. Um... I believe a size 40, though. Is that like a size 8, Adrian? 8, 8 and a half? Yeah. Um, All Saints boots, size 40. Hold on, I'm going to see what these normally equate to. Um, oh, no. Actually, a size U.S. size 10 is a size 40. I'm totally off. So, All Saints boots... Um, yeah, it says, yeah, size uh, 40 is a size 10 US. So these are size 10. I found both of them. So here they are. They are gorgeous. Um, the only, like, thing is that they just kind of have, like, some indentations in the heels. But they're not, like, super noticeable. They kind of just, they're, like indentations you see that like you can see like like i went like that with my nail and made like a little indent in them 
Um, otherwise, though, these boots are in great shape. They zip in the back. You just zip down like that so you can get your foot in. And both zips work really well. Um, Lady J... Wait, what did it be, Um, Linda, I was looking at the, um, the website. Um, I honestly, I don't know if, like, they will fit smaller or anything, but according to, um, like, the online thing for the size chart for All Saints, it says that a size 40 is a U.S. size 10. Um, I can measure the width of them. Um, I don't know if they're necessarily like a wide width shoe though, but the width of the bottom is three inches wide. So from here to here, where like the widest part of your foot is, is three inches. Oh, like if you go like this and see if it fits. I don't know how to... I probably have, like, a fat fist, though. Honestly, my fist does fit inside, though. <laughs> like, balled up. It does fit inside, but... I don't know. I kind of have, like... Our hands are all different, so I honestly would not know. That is true, Carrie. Plus, you can always wear these with, like, thick socks, right? Um, for the winter time. You're welcome! Okay, um, these are gonna be item number, what number are we on? Oopsies. Uh, I think these are size nine, okay. Or size nine, number nine. These are, uh, All Saints, Snake, Embossed, um, Oil Slick, Leather, Green, purple, gray, size 40, US size 10. And how much are these, Vadrian? Oh, also the heel height. Let me give you guys the heel height. It is a four and a half inch heel height, but it does have um, a, one ha a one inch platform like that's built in. And these are $45. Okay. Yeah, the heel height's really high. So, we're like, with the platform, like, it has a one-inch platform, and the heel is four and a half. Okay. So now we're going to go to item number 10. But isn't that... So, aren't they really pretty, though? I love, like, how they shift, like, in color. I feel like on camera they mostly show, like, a purple-gray. But it's, like, purple-gray-green is, like, the color shift in the shoes. Oh my gosh, Linda, are you? Oh my gosh, if you when you if you get them, can you please send us a photo? That's awesome. This is your uh, what's it called? Your car registration. Oh, cool. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, cool. Got my car registration thing. I still have to get that smog check, but that's a whole nother story with trying to get, um, what is it called? Um, what is the thing with my car again, Vaderin? It's the, the catalytic converter. They're like nowhere to be found from my car. So like my car guy is like still looking to try to find one. And I don't want to go to the dealership because it's like a gazillion dollars. 
and it's already going to be expensive. It's already going to be a couple thousand for a catalytic converter, and it's going to be even more expensive at the dealership. So, congrats, Linda! Yay! All right, Linda's taking a chance, and I'm super excited. You're gonna love them. I'm so excited. Yay, they're so pretty too. That's what I hear, Lady J. That like, I didn't even know that was an actual thing until like now that I have to go get one. And the kind of annoying thing about the catalytic converter for my car is that um, in the height of the pandemic, like I got a letter for my car saying that there was a recall for the catalytic converter. And then when my catalytic converter broke and then I brought it to the dealership, they were like, oh, your catalytic converter is actually not one of the ones that are covered under the recall. And I was like, oh, then why'd you guys send me a letter? So I was just like, ugh. And it's like a gazillion dollars, so. I just practice when you're exactly Madame Goomba. Wear them in, get a feel for them. It's perfect. Yeah, the car dealer is like so expensive. I think it's like it was, it was like almost three thousand for the catalytic converter, and um, they would still have to order the part. And they're like, "We don't know when it's gonna come in." And I was like, "How do you not know?" And they're like, "Uh, there's a shortage." And I was like, "Uh." <gasps> no way, Lady J, that's crazy. Oh my gosh. Linda, I hear it's like it's like riding a bike. <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> you never forget how to wear them. Okay, up next, these are some beautiful Tory Burch loafers. Check these out. They're in a beautiful, um, it's like a light gray taupe color look at that like them like the embroidery for the Tory Burch logo is gorgeous and my favorite thing about them is that they have this cool like chain detail into the little heel uh there is a little bit of a mark right here on the side it's not super noticeable but just know that it is there on the right shoe the other shoe Great shape, doesn't have any marks on it, but these are awesome. These are also a size nine, so size nine. Um, Edie, I have a Chevy Equinox, right, Lady J? No, not fourth, it's three, it's like around 3,000 is how much it's gonna cost. Like, my car like works totally fine but it needs a new catalytic converter. <laughs> like driving it, it feels the same, but to pass your smog check, you need a catalytic converter that works properly. So it's just a little bit of a bummer. Number one sold, oh no way. Yeah, I hear Hondas get stolen a lot, right? Okay, so these are our Tory Burch um, light gray taupe. Um, Loafers with gold chain detail, size 9. And these are how much food rain? Okay, these are going to be $45. Um, Vadrian, what's the lowest that we can do on the Chanel heels for our friend Diana over there? What do you, what's the lowest we can do for him? That, not the heels, the boots. Yeah, catalytic converters are so expensive. It's like so crazy. Okay, so that was number 10. Um, let me see. What... Yeah, I'm gonna ch let me check. Hold on. Um, I feel like my 
that thing never works, the app. Okay. Maria, yes. My mom does fit in those shoes perfectly. And she's like an eight and a half, nine. So, like, she has one foot that's like an eight and a half, and the other one is like almost a nine, and she says that her feet fit in them perfectly, so she, she was like, yeah, they fit really well. Time for a trade-in. <laughs> but I don't want a new car. <laughs> I like my car. <laughs> I, also not, I also like not having payments on my car. So, that's the only thing. And my car works really well. Like, other than it needing that catalytic converter, I'm not, like, really a car person, really. I'm like, as long as my car works. And I feel like it still works, you know? But, I don't know. I'm just being crazy. Okay, so this is... Oh, okay, so we're going to do number... Al... Wait, what number are we on? 11? Okay, number 11 is going to be our Chanel boots. Um, and here they are. Our what, what price did we have them at, Vaderian? Here are our black Chanel boots. Look at these heels. They are amazing. And these are a size 40. And these fit like a size 8.5. Because these fit my mom. She just said the heels are too high. Uh, what did you say, Vader? Okay, uh, last price we had these was four twenty five. The best I can probably do for these is gonna be three fifty. Um, so this is gonna be our Chanel boots, three fifty for our boots. They are a size, they fit like a size eight and a half. Um. They're amazing. They are beautiful, black, quilted, lambskin. Look at the, look, it has little Chanel logos right there. And then it has the little, um, zipper. They are in really great shape. Um, the heel height also, I forgot to tell you guys is about four inches. But aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, I, like these boots are amazing. And it's a, I believe it's a, um, an aged calf skin, I think, is the leather. Gorgeous. Okay, there are those. Right, Kathleen? They're so pretty. Um, up next, we're going to go to item number 12. And, okay. Let's do one more pair of shoes. <laughs> and these are amazing. These are a size 36. They fit a size 6. Um, and these are, I believe they're Charlotte Olympia. What they are? Oh my gosh, I can't even see. Vadrian, these are oh yeah, they are. She, these are Charlotte Olympia, um, black laser cut leather knee high boots. They fit like a size six. Um, the laser cut part, like this part, the top portion, is in uh, black suede, and then the rest of the shoe is in a black patent. The shoes are in really great shape. Um, the only thing is, the left shoe is missing the zipper pull that looks like a like a spider web. I just attached like a ring to it, so you can op you can pull it up and down easily. Um, but the zipper works fine. I'm I think you can actually get um, the replacement for these at like a, either a Charlotte Olympia store or even at like a store that carries Charlotte Olympia, like say like a Nordstrom or like Bloomingdale's. Those, uh, the shoe department sometimes will actually carry, like, the zipper pulls and stuff. So you might even be able to just, like, get one from them. Um, but the, these are the shoes. They're in pretty great shape. The only thing is the left heel also does have 
a little bit of a scuff at the very bottom of the heel. Uh, but again, it's not like super noticeable. You might be able to um, fix it up with a little bit of just a black paint and then a high gloss finisher. And then it won't look like super obvious. But that is... Wait, what did you see, Peter? Oh. Oh, okay. So that's the thing right there, like the way it looks when you have your, that's like the laser cut design. Hi, Norma. Um, Melissa, the only one I have, oh, I have the, I have a green um, Kurt Geiger bracelet. That's the only one other than the Hermes one. So this is our item number 12. These are our black Charlotte Olympia knee-high boots. I think these boots retail for almost $1,000, too. Um, black laser cut suede leather. And black patent with silver hardware. And we're just going to do these guys for $50. Um, that's going to be item number 12. Charlotte Olympia boots. Oh, again, they're also a size 6. I forgot to put the size. Or a size 36. Okay. Yeah, I'll get... I'll, I'll pull out that bracelet right now. There you go. Okay, that's item number 12. Oh, they are definitely Ariana Grande. Can you imagine, like, wearing these with, like, a huge oversized hoodie that looks like a dress? And then a high ponytail. And that's all you need. But these are the boots. They're quite amazing. My sister says they're actually very comfortable, even though they're very high. But they have, like, a good platform, so... Um, but let me get that Hermes bracelet. Let's see if I can find it. It gets it right here next to me. Um, I don't know where I put the other bracelet, though. So that Kurt Geiger bracelet, it's, like, hiding from me. But I know I still do have that one. But here is the Hermes bracelet. It comes in the box. And it also does have the dust bag. Um... It's a, I don't remember the name of the style, but it's in a black metal, and it's like a matte finish. It's in really great shape, except on one side, on the underneath part, it does have, like, some marks on it, but it's on the under, it's like underneath, so when you're actually wearing it, you're not going to see it. Uh, I feel like the person that had this originally um, did wear, like, did use uh, like, I stack the bracelet, and it left marks. Um, also, it does have kind of, like, these two little... I don't know if you're going to see it. But where the ring hits it, it just has two, like, marks on the side where that ring hits it. But that's just from the bracelet itself. This is in a size 7. And I can almost get it on my wrist. But, unfortunately, it does not fit. My giant. Like, this is as far as I can get it. <laughs> it's so sad, too. I wish this fit me. Otherwise, I would definitely wear it. It's such a cool piece. But it uh, comes with a dust bag right here and our box. And this was how much feed ring? Oh, it also does come with, like, the little Hermes booklet and stuff, too, inside. Wait, what did you say, feed ring? Okay. You're welcome, Melissa. So this is number 13, our black matte Hermes bracelet. Size 7. And this, wait, 300? Uh, oh, the sunset. Thank you, Lady J. I want to put that. Sunset bracelet. All right. Perfect. Am I pricing it right, Lady J? I know nothing about jewelry. 
Let me see what the what the comps are for this. Okay, I see a black one uh, for 695 Okay, I feel like my price is pretty decent then. How much is one brand new? <laughs> Not me like looking on here. Anyway, um, let's continue. We're going to go on to number 14 now. Well, that was number 13. Okay, for number 14, I have a cool one. I have, this is a Chanel, like, cell phone bag. And it is in this beautiful blue lambskin leather. And it's, like, kind of, like, glazed. And it has, like, this, like, iridescence, like a pearlescence to it. So it, it's really, really pretty. It has silver hardware. We have the Chanel logo right here with the matching blue enamel. And then we have the crossbody strap. You can also make this into like a shoulder bag. Just pull the strap and it comes a shoulder bag. Uh, unfortunately though, this does not fit like the largest iPhone. It would have to be like the regular size iPhone or the mini to fit inside of here. So it doesn't fit the, like the iPhone Max or Pro Max or whatever, but it is in like new condition. Uh, it also does come with the original uh, Chanel um, little card the little with the serial number and then little care booklet as well. And interior, it has three compartments. One, two, three. She is so pretty. And that iridescence, that color is everything. Um, wait a minute, what happened? Oh my gosh, Carrie's getting number 13! Congratulations, Carrie! Yay! Congratulations! Oh my gosh, the bracelet is so beautiful. I'm so excited that you got it. Yay! Congrats. Oh my gosh. So pretty. I'm so excited. But isn't this blue, like, spectacular? It is so pretty. And I, I don't, I can't get over, like, the color. And it's so so soft and luxurious like um yeah it is so pretty so this is going to be item number 14 our black quilted chanel or not black blue black blue quilted chanel vader are you still there with silver hardware Okay, and this one is $1,750. Oh, thank you, Carrie. And that is item number 14 for our Chanel um, phone bag. And this one is in like new condition. And like I said, it will come with a card and the like care booklet and everything. And that is item number 14. It's such a cute little bag. And it does have like a little leather piece at the end. So then when you carry it, you're like, ah, so cute. Okay. So that is item number 14. I'm gonna set that over there. She's so beautiful. Um, all right, let me just check really quickly for Carrie's email. Okay, up next, we're going to go to item 15. Okay, up next, let's do... Should we do another shoe? Mm -hmm. Right, Kathleen? It's so pretty. Okay, 
let's do another. Oh, here's a boot. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, up next, these are a pair of Chloe boots, right? These are gorgeous. They're in a dark brown. I know they kind of look black, but it's a very dark brown. These, I believe this, these are like the Paddington boots. They have the same hardware that's on the Paddington, um, on like the little buckle sides. And it has a, like a three inch heel. And these shoes are in pretty great shape. The leather is super nice. Um, where's the other shoe? Oh, here it is. Here is the other boot right there. And these are in a size 39. Okay. And these are going to be number 15. Dark brown Chloe Paddington boots with gold hardware, size 39. Um, I think we had these for like 95, but let's do a little discount. Um, okay, I think we can do 80 for these. So we're going to do 80 for these guys. That's going to be item number 15. And that is number 80. Or number 80. Number 15. That's $80. <laughs> and let's continue onwards. 16 is up next. And I have for you guys, oh, I have, uh, I still have this really pretty, do you know the calf? Oh, Angela. Um, I don't know the circumference, but I can measure, like, do you want me to measure, like, the height, like, the width at the very top, or where it's, like, the widest, where the calf goes? Because I can measure both. So, like, the top opening is about six and a half inches from end to end. How do you measure circumference? Um, area, is that le like one half length times, no. Pile, one half. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. So that was our dark Chloe. Yeah. And then the wide, like the, the calf part, I forgot to measure that. Like the widest part of the calf is, uh, it's about like seven inches. But it doesn't have, like, a zipper or anything, so, um, yeah. Okay, our next item for 16... Yeah, Angela, like, um, they are just slip-on, so they, they don't stretch or anything. And there's no, like, zipper, so you kind of just have to be able to fit your leg inside of here. I know my leg would definitely not fit, but I have huge calves. Um, mom also has large calves and she can't get her foot in here. So yeah. What happened, Vadrian? Hmm? Oh no. From where? Oh. This is our next item. This is a Claire Vivier calf hair clutch in pink. And it has a navy blue and red little bow detail on the zipper pull and gold hardware. It does have like gussets, so it's kind of like a wider little pouch bag. The interior 
has chambray fabric lining. It's in like new condition inside and out. And yeah, this is made in California, which I think is really cool. I think all of her bags and pouches and wallets, like all her leather goods and stuff are made locally in Los Angeles, which I think is super cool. And it's super soft and just like a fun, whimsical piece. Pi. Oh, yeah. Pi R squared. Right? Or is that... The, that's a sphere. 2 pi R. Right? 2 pi R. 2 pi R is the diameter. No, is the... Is the circumference? <laughs> oh, God, I don't know. I remember... Don't be mad, I haven't taken math in a long time. But I think it's 2 pi r. Because pi r squared is the is a sphere. And then 2 pi r is the circumference of a circle. Right? Mm. No, Diana, I still have that one. So this is our pink calf hair... Claire Vivier clutch with navy and red bow zipper pull, like new condition. And this guy. Oh, am I right, Pauline? Yes. I I, I actually I actually did really well in geometry. Um, I remember I got an A in that class. Geometry. The only math class that I really did not like at all was when I had to take calculus in college. I take calculus A and B. Ugh, that was like literally the worst. Sorry to all the math lovers out there, but I don't like doing proofs. Proofs are literally the worst thing ever. Okay, and then we're gonna do this guy for $75. Uh, that's gonna be item number 16 for our Claire Vivier pony hair clutch. There we go. Um, let me grab that other Claire Vivier bag to show you guys. It is a Claire Vivier tote bag, and it is really, really pretty. I believe it's called the Simple Tote, and it's in red and navy suede. This is a perforated, uh, like, golden tan leather, and then this is, like, in a vachetta. And black leather handles. The back is in navy leather along with the sides. And the bottom is half of the perforated, half of the navy. Oh, Melissa's calling number 16. Congratulations, Melissa. So pretty. I'm super excited for you. I love that clutch. I love Claire Vivier. Like, her stuff is so... Like, it's simple and, like, elegant and, like, classic. Like, you can't go wrong. So, congratulations, Melissa. Um, okay, so this bag also does have the shoulder strap. It is just the shorter one. You can attach a longer crossbody strap to this if you wanted, but this just comes with, a, like, a shoulder strap, so that's, like, the length. Excuse my farmer's tan. And this bag is in like new condition, but it does have a little bit of color transfer on the Vachetta side, but that's just from rubbing against the navy portion on the other side. So that is definitely just going to happen over time because that, you know, Vachetta, how Vachetta is. And this is a navy leather, which, um, yeah. So it, it did kind of like, can you see how it has, um, it's kind of like, like a shadow, like a blue shadow on there. This also does come with the dust bag right inside. It has that chambray lining, super clean inside. There's just one pocket right there. And this also is made in California as well. And it does have a magnetic snap up at the top to hold it together. 
And this is going to be item number 17. Claire Vivier Tote Navy Red Perforated Leather and Flechetta. Wait, what did you say it was, Vivian? Okay, and this one is $150 for the tote. That is number 17. I told you guys it comes with the dust bag too, right? So this also does come with the dust bag. And that's that guy. Number 18 is up next. And I know those totes, I think they run almost $500, I think. On the Claire, yeah, like new, I think that's how much those go for. I think it's called the Simple Tote. Let me just look really quick. Ah, yeah, the Simple Tote. Um, oh, actually, um, like the regular ones start at five fifty-five. That one's like one of the special edition ones, so those are closer to six hundred. That five ninety-five. So, the yeah, five hundred ninety-five dollars for that one retail. And up next, we're going to go to item number 18. And let's do another pair of sapatos. And this is what I have up next. So these are also in a size, I think these are in a size 8.5. Size 9. Where is the size on these? Where did you go? Oh, there it is. Um, these are a size 8.5. Tory Birch. These are just some really cute woven leather... Uh, sneakers and it's in like this light nude pink color and they just have the toy brush logo they're like embossed here on the back and yeah they're in really great shape there's the interior of the shoes and the bottoms don't have too much wear right and yeah the top portion the top leather portion in really great shape. Uh, I don't think there's any like um, notable marks or scuffs or anything on them. So that is going to be number 18. Light nude pink uh, Tory Burch woven leather sneakers size 8.5. And these are how much Hmm. Okay, these are going to be $45. That is going to be item number 18 for our Tory Burch sneakers. All right. Um, I think though, I think number 17 is going to go to Diana then. Diana? Or, yeah? Or Linda? Oh, I mean, Linda. Not Diana. To Linda. <laughs> congratulations, Linda. I don't think. Oh, okay. Diana says to go for it. So congratulations, Linda. That bag is going to you. It's number uh, 17 for our Claire Vivier tote. And number 18 were the Tory Birch sneakers for 45. All right, congratulations, Linda. Again, these are the sneakers. Oh my gosh, they're like literally falling everywhere. Okay, um, what clothes do I have in here? that aren't like an extra small. Um, I still have this really cute coach shirt right here. This is that coach baseman collab shirt. Uh, this one is in a size small, but it's definitely an oversized fit because this shirt almost fits me. And I generally wear, like, a men's medium-large, depending on, like, the size. So this is definitely, like, a women's, at least a medium to a large, also, in fit. Uh, it has a really pretty bunny print. I had the matching tote um, a few weeks ago. All right. And this is going to be number 19. And this is new with tags as well. Um, coach tag still attached on there. 
Okay. And Coach Baseman Bunny. Bunny. Um, shirt, new with tags, oversized fit, size small. And we had this one for 85. Let's do 75. And that's number 19. Okay, number 20 is up next. Over here. Okay, 20 is up next. Also, don't forget to enter the giveaway, guys, if you guys have not yet entered our giveaway. I will leave the link up at the top. Or in the chat. There you go. Our question is right there. What are your top two favorite YouTube channels? You can leave your answer in the comments of that video. And that's in at the end of tonight's live. We're announcing the winner for our gorgeous Starbucks cup. Very exciting stuff. Okay. Oh, I have this pair of glasses. And I don't know if there are any Oliver People fans out there. But I am obsessed with Oliver People sunglasses. And I wish these were larger um, so that I could, like, wear them. But my face is way too large for these. Also, um, but here they are. I don't think they have a prescription, honestly. I don't exactly know. Uh, I think they're just, like, clear or they have some sort of filter. Because it kind of changes, like, the color of stuff. Um... This is how they look. Honestly, like, they're not bad. And they're not, like, super small because, like, the width, like, fits. But I just, I feel like my head is too big to have, like, lenses that are this small. But you can switch out these lenses, put in your prescription, change them into sunglasses. Uh, the lenses on these, like, they're a little bit damaged. I don't, think, I don't know if you can see, like, right in this corner where the glasses, like, hits the corner. It's, like, a little, like has a kind of like, uh, it's like a little cracked in that corner and then a little bit right there too. Like it's not noticeable unless you look really hard in that corner. Um, and the lenses themselves are in pretty decent shape. I don't think there are like any scratches in the middle. So like when you wear them, like they, Yeah, you don't see any marks or anything when you're wearing them. But they are black on top. It's metal on the bottom. And it's also metal on the sides. And then it ends in, like, the black plastic as well. Uh, they have, like, the little nose pieces. And it has the Oliver People, like, logo. I don't know if it's going to show. But it has, like, the Oliver People logo here on the sides. As well as on the ends of the little black arms. And I know Oliver People glasses are really expensive. Uh, I think like the eyeglasses and sunglasses, they start at around three fifty to four hundred dollars. And this is just a really cute pair. Honestly, I think these look really cute. I feel like these are actually the same size as the other glasses that I have. But how do you? How do they look? Do they make me look smart? It's gonna be item number twenty. Black and <laughs> Beatrice like no. Uh, Oliver people's glasses. Again, these don't have a prescription. I think they have some sort of like light filtering aspect to them, but they're just clear. But I feel like they kind of, I don't know if it's like a blue light glasses, but they kind of like, they might be blue. I don't know what kind of filter they have or if they're just like clear and I'm just making it up. But yeah. Um... How much are these, Patreon? Okay, we're gonna do these guys for um, $60. That is gonna be item number 20. Thanks, Linda. I feel like I just wanna wear them now. Even though I feel like they're probably a little too small for me, but that's okay. What if I wear glasses like all the time? I 
I feel like they look kind of better a little higher up, right? Like this high. Uh, I don't know. I'm actually gonna see if my dad would like these, maybe. But I I actually gave him a pair of Oliver People glasses, and they are his favorite glasses, like ever that he's ever bought. He's hated literally every pair of glasses he's ever purchased from um, his optometrist when he gets like his prescription put in them. But I gave him the pair of Oliver People glasses, and he had the, his prescription put inside, and he loves them so so much so it's really cute that he's like really excited for them plus um i told him that he kind of looks like he's like a korean um he looks like a korean uh what is it called like soap opera or soap star or whatever and he got really excited about that so <laughs> i was like they're like the glasses that they wear on the show and he's like really and i'm like yeah and he's like oh all right, 20. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take these off now. I feel like I'm going to look crazy. Oh, yeah, these are made in Japan, too. Very nice. Up next is going to be 21. Oh, you guys. Someone please buy this bag. It is quintessential fall, winter. I think it's so beautiful. This is a coach satchel. It's in this forest green pebbled leather I love this contrasting snake print and like this brown. So pretty. It's also in the crossbody strap as well. And then it has gold hardware. It has this gorgeous like buckle detail here in the front. It's a allig uh, alligator croc embossed leather right there. And also on the sides. So the details on this bag are amazing. It has like two different or three different types of like embossed printed leathers. Hi, Susan. <gasps> Melissa! You probably have seen me there. Because when I was in college, I would always go to the All Every People store. I was so obsessed. Um, they would invite me to their sales. Do you, did you ever go to one of their, like, sales that they had? I think they have them, like, twice a year. Like, one in the winter, fall, and then one, like, in the spring, summer. And their glasses were... They weren't, like, super cheap, but they were marked down, like, considerably. Like, you can get a pair for, like, $65 to $100-something. And they also gave you a discount on getting, like, the lenses switched out for your prescription. And, yeah, I bought so many glasses. I still have them. I have all of my glasses that I bought from there. And I got my mom obsessed, too. So she would go there to buy sunglasses also. And it was, like, the best. I don't know. I loved it. Those were good times. Ah, yes, I have more glasses with Steven. <gasps> really, Kathleen? Wow. I have, like, um, a really, really, really mild prescription. So I rarely, really, like, I rarely wear my glasses at all. Because um, I don't really need, I don't, I don't need them to drive, <laughs> really. I just wear them at nighttime when I drive. So that, like, I don't have to, like, squint. Because I have, like, a harder time seeing, uh, like sign like the reading signs at night like i'd have to squint like during the daytime i'm like totally fine uh but yeah can you measure the bust oh yeah for sure diana i lived at <gasps> no way melissa you just lived across the street i went to cal state fullerton i know it's not like super close but um i would always go to south coast plaza and like my friends and i would always go because it was like um it wasn't, uh, actually, like, Brea Mall was closer, but we liked to go to South Coast because it was a larger mall. Um, the bust for the t-shirt is 20, 21 inches, Diana, for the, the, ba the Coach Baseman t-shirt. It's 21 inches. Oh, that's awesome, Susan. Ah, oh, yeah, Melissa. Nice. What did your mom major in? <laughs> Believe it or not, I majored in science. <laughs> My concentration was in cell and developmental biology. <gasps> Laura, Brea Mall. Yes. I worked at the Pottery Barn in Brea Mall. So it was one of my 
favorites. Oh yeah, I preferred South Coast over Fashion Island too. Even though I really like that koi pond thing that they have over in Fashion Island. I love the fish. I love koi fish. I'm like obsessed. Like I want to have a like a koi pond one day. But I just know that's like a lot of work. And you have to have it either deep enough um, so that the birds can't get to the fish. Or you have to have your fish big enough that the birds aren't going to try to get them. Or you have to like put a net over it. Like, I, one of my best friends from high school, her dad had a koi pond in their backyard. And he always had to have, like, a net on it. And I felt like it ruined the aesthetics of the pond. But, yeah, the birds would always... She said, like, the, otherwise the birds would always get the fish. Diana... I honestly have no clue. <laughs> I'm sorry. <gasps> Do you really, Laura? Thank you. <laughs> I love that. St I loved working there. Pottery Barn was so fun. The only thing is, like, I made, like, $2 an hour working at Pottery Barn. So it just wasn't feasible for me. <laughs> Though I did work there for, like, five years. And I got, like, a little award thing for, like, or a little, um, and not, not an award, but, like, I don't know what to call it. But it was kind of like a thank you for working here for five years type of thing. And it was, like, this metal picture, and it was, like, engraved with my name on it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but, Diana, I don't know if it'll fit. <gasps> no way, Melissa. I love William Sonoma. You know, William Sonoma owns Pottery Barn, so. Okay, so this is our... Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot about the bag. Thank you for putting me back on track, Kathleen. There's a front pocket right here. Um, there's not a back pocket. And then when you get into the bag, it zips across the top. And it just has one interior pocket right there. It's an open pocket. And it's super clean inside and out. The bag is in pretty much like new condition. Um, all the corners are in great shape. There's no rubbing or anything. And it also does have little feet on the bottom. So this is our green coach satchel with croc embossed leather trim and, and make print um, trim with gold hardware and this is how much Peter okay yeah I think we had this one at 125 I'm gonna drop it down to 95 though so if anyone's interested tonight's your night that's number 2195 such a nice like fall winter bag it's so so beautiful I love, like, the combination of all of the different leathers and colors and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, Kathleen, uh, certificate? Like a, a, like a certificate of authenticity for the coach? Is that what you're asking for? Um, I could get one if you really wanted one for the bag. Um... But I had I would have to cha like charge um, like a fee to get it authenticated. But I am a hundred percent certain that this is an authentic coach bag. But if you would like a certificate, I can definitely get one for you. Uh, that is gonna be number twenty one. Oh yeah, the experience working there is definitely priceless. That's kind of like where I learned my public speaking skills. Not that I have any really, but. Um, I learned to get out of my comfort zone. Oh! <laughs> Kathleen, I'm sorry. Um, 22 is up next. Alright. Oh! This one's a good one. And I totally forgot that I had this. And I don't know if any of you guys are into Brahmin. But this is a... I feel like this is like a super rare vintage Brahmin. I've never gotten one like this before, but it has like these cool, like, I don't know if it, I think it's bamboo, like bamboo wooden handles. 
And then it's canvas and leather. And this is like a cream, like off-white color. And then we have like that brass hardware. We have our little Brahmin tag, our um, charm right here. And then up top, this is, has like a magnetic closure. And then there's a middle dividing pocket, two pockets on this side, two pockets on, pockets on the other side. And it has... Um, microfiber lining and the pocket is actually uh, I think it's like a is it leather no no so the pocket it's uh, coated canvas but it's super duper clean inside and out the crossbody strap also is removable and adjustable so you can adjust it or remove it and just use it with the top handle but I feel like this bag is so chic it looks super cool Okay, and this is going to be number 22. And this is our vintage Brahmin satchel with bamboo handles, cream fabric, and cream leather with brass hardware. And let's do this bag for how much, Vadrian? Okay, we're gonna do this guy for $45. $45 for this beautiful vintage Brahmin with the really cool wooden handles. I think they're so fun. I do too, Melissa. It's like my favorite part about the bag. It's like so chic. It's definitely a little bit more like summery looking though. Like whenever I see like a wooden handle I, and in this colorway, I think, like, summer, the Bahamas, like, going on a tropical vacation or something. But, I mean, you can definitely carry it all year round. But, so cool. I really like the style of this one. All right. Up next, 23. Oh! Certificate! Thank you, Kathy. Yeah, it wasn't like a... It was, it, it was like, literally, like, a metal pitcher like for water or a beverage and it was just like engraved with um congratulations for working four or five years here and then literally like after I got that like I stopped working there because <laughs> at the time um when I was working at Pottery Barn I was going to school full-time I was working at Pottery Barn and I was working at I was literally working like three different jobs. I was also working in a a marine biology research lab as well. And I like never slept. I like not, I don't even remember sleeping the years that I was doing that. So it was kind of crazy. Okay, up next, this is number 23. This is a Mark by Mark Jacobs uh, like crossbody bag. This is in like a off-white, taupey, creamy, um, smooth leather with gold hardware. It has a Mark by Mark stamp right here on the front. It actually is uh, rounded on the bottom, which kind of gives it kind of like a bucket-style shape. But then it has like the flap but up top. So this is like kind of like the shape that it has. And this little piece right here goes through there to kind of like hold the top flap in place. You open that. It has pen mark right there underneath that top flap. And then I think on the bottom. Oh yeah. On the back it has like a little mark right there at the bottom. Oh, hello, CF. How are you? <gasps> Did you get your sunglasses? Your Celine sunglasses? Do you love them? Veronica, of course. Um, let me just put the price up for this one, and then I'll show you that uh, Brahmin. And then this has a little bit of darkening at the bottom, but nothing crazy. And then the interior is in a brown fabric. There's a zipper pocket back there, and then two open pockets down below. 
It has, oh, it has a magnetic snap up at the top to kind of like hold your bag together. But there we go. This is our cream off white taupe leather mark by Mark Jacobs crossbody bag with gold hardware. And this guy is going to be just $40 for our Mark by Mark. That's number 23 for $40. And let me show Veronica the Brahmin really quickly. And that's this guy right here. Oh, I'm glad you like them. I'm glad they made it all the way to Germany in one piece. I'm always, like, worried whenever anything goes like international, I'm always like, oh, I hope nothing breaks. I hope it's still good when they get it. Um, this is that Brahmin Veronica. Isn't it beautiful? It's a uh, fabric and then leather. Has little feet on the bottom and then has these really fun wooden handles. I think they're bamboo. And then here's the inside. Gorgeous. All right. Uh, what number do you guys want to go to tonight? Do you guys just gonna want to go to like twenty five, or do I? You guys want to go to like thirty? Let me know what you guys are thinking. But up next, we got number twenty four, and up next, I have this is a little Alexander Wang. Uh, I think this is like the Prisma crossbody, and it's in black pebbled leather and has uh, rose gold hardware. There is some color loss on the hardware. You can see some of that silver coming through on the sides, but I think it's really cool. Like, I really like the little corner hardware pieces on this bag. I think that it makes them, like, totally, like, cool and edgy, and then... Oh, you're welcome, Veronica. Isn't it such a cool bag? I love, like, a vintage Brahmin. It does have little leather feet on the bottom. And I like the way that the hardware opens up. So you squeeze these two pieces together, and then it opens up the bag. I have the crossbody strap inside. It is adjustable and removable. And then the interior is just black fabric lining, and it has this one zipper pocket right there. And... It also does have these little snaps on the side, too, to kind of keep the bag closed up like that. And, yeah, the leather's in pretty good shape. There are just, like, on the top flap, which is, like, smooth leather, there are just, like, regular, like, marks on there. Like, nothing, like, crazy, but they are there. And, again, like, the har like I said, the hardware does have some color loss. This is number 24, our black Alexander Wang Prisma crossbody bag with uh, rose gold hardware. Okay, we have this one at um, 115. Let's do a little discount. We're going to do 95 tonight. So uh, number 24 is going to be $95. And there we go. That's that one. A uh, CF, yes. It's rose gold hardware. Okay, up next, we're going to go to 25. And let's do. Are you guys already tired for the evening, or do you guys want to keep going? Like, I know it's really late already. It's, like, past midnight, and I know it's really late for some of you guys out there. Other than CF, it's early for you. Oh, also, it's daylight savings time! Right? So, do we gain an hour, or we lose an hour? No, it's like, we're gonna fall back, right? Do we fall back? We fall back, so we gain an hour? So it's gonna be... Yeah. So we lose an hour, or we gain an hour? 
So, like, it's gonna be, like, right now it's, like, midnight, but then, like, it's gonna be, like, 11 a.m. Like, what time do you change the time? Like, at 2 a.m.? I don't know why it's, like, at 2 a.m., but am I going crazy? Do I not remember how daylight savings time works? Every time it's daylight savings time, I always get confused. Okay, yeah, so we do fall back. So, we go back one hour, but we technically gain an hour. Yes! Okay. Whew. <laughs> oh, goodness. I had a long day. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, today, I pretty much just, like, whenever we have parties, I just, like, try to clean, like, intensely. And, like, I just follow everyone around cleaning up everything because I'm crazy. And I also follow my mom and my aunts around and take pictures for them because they're crazy for photos. So, hi, Purse Curator. How are you? So, that's, yeah. I'm pretty much just, like, a crazy person whenever we have any family gatherings at the house. Uh, but... It's always fun. Okay, so this is... Oh! This is a, Mar a Michael Kors crossbody bag. It's in this, like, raspberry leather. It has, like, a really small grain. It almost looks like, like a smooth leather, but it has, like, a small, small grain. There's a front pocket, a large back pocket, gold hardware. Um, this bag is new with tags. The tags are still... Um, oh no, the tags are no longer attached there. I thought they were. Um, it does have, like, the little Michael Kors, um, booklet. Ooh, I lost the tag for this. I think it, like, fell off. I had two of these at one point. I sold one. Um, so, yeah. But it still has the original packaging on the inside. Some of the hardware still has the wrapping as well. There's just one interior zipper pocket inside of there. And then one other pocket on the other side. This zips across the top, and this is going to be item number 25. Um, I think Black Friday, hold on, is going to be on the 25th. So November 25th is Black Friday here in the U.S. And so this is our raspberry leather Michael... Core's crossbody bag with gold hardware. Oh, Angela! Yeah, my sister, she used to live in Arizona, and we always, like, went crazy trying to figure out, like, the time changes whenever it was daylight savings, um, because they never, they don't do that over there where she lived. So I was like, crazy. Okay, and this one we're going to do for 75 Again, this one is like new with tags. Unfortunately, I don't have the original tag anymore for this one. I think only the other one still has the tag attached to it. But they still have, like, the original wrapping and packaging on the interior. That's number 25 for $75. Then up next, we're going to go to 26 Angela, yeah, I think they did, but I don't know. I think they, I think we still do though, because everyone's saying to do it. Um, I don't know if it doesn't go into effect maybe until next year, or something like this is the last time we're going to be changing the time. But I am not a hundred percent certain. I do not know. All right, 26. I have these black Tory Burch boots. Smooth black leather. Light gold hardware. This has a three-inch heel. And, yeah, these shoes are so cute. Um, there is some wear, like, at the very, very front of the shoes. I will try to fix them up, though, before we send them out. But, um, 
just know that there's going to be like, there may be a little bit of like, um, a different texture in the front. I can get the color the same, but, uh, there might be like a little bit of a different texture. It might be a little bit more smooth or a little bit more rough, depending on how I can get it. But just know that's at the very, very tips of the shoe though. The heels are super cool. They have like a fun shape and then they have the Tory Burch logo on the back of them. And these are in like a super soft, like leather. It kind of stretches. It's really cool. These are in a size six. Yeah, I am having a Black Friday sale. It's gonna be fun. Oh, that's interesting, Dawn. I didn't know that. Oh, and don't forget, I am going to do a sale, too, with um, with V. We just haven't decided yet on the day and the time. So, depending on what time I'm going to do that with her, I'll let you guys know when my Black Friday sale is going to be. Okay, so this is our Black Tory Burch um, boots with 3-inch heel, size 6. And these are how much, Fedorian? Okay, we're going to do these guys for $45. Pretty much all of our Tory Burch shoes are $45 tonight. That is going to be item number 26, $45. Up next, we're going to go to 27 And let's do... Oh, I, I have this. This is an All Saints um, belt bag. This one is so cute. And this is a perfect fall bag. The color is like spectacular. It's in this beautiful orange leather. And the belt on this guy is a really good length. Uh, it's nice and easy to wear as like a body bag. But I think the waist on this can go up to like a 38. Um, like to fit around your waist. And it has these brass star studs on the front and also the buckle like all the hardware is that same like antique brass there's a back pocket right there and then the zipper opens and you have one interior pocket this also does fit your cell phone inside so you can put your cell phone inside of your bag also and with room to spare the bag, too, is in really great shape. There's no, like, crazy discoloration or anything like that. And this leather is super, super soft. Kind of reminds me of the way that uh, Balenciaga leather feels. And I'm pretty sure that this is a vegetable dyed leather. That's why it's so soft. Um, of course, Norma. Number 26, those were the black Tory boots. These are them. They're super cute. I love, like, the heel. It, like, kind of, like, curves out and in a little bit. So it's, like, a little bit rounded. And then it has the Tory Burch hardware in metal on the back. It's light gold color. And it kind of has, like, a sock. Like, it's leather, but it's, like, kind of, like, has a sock feel. Or, like, look like it's stretchy and you just, like, slip your foot in. And these are in a size 6. Mm. Oh, of course, Purse Curator. Let me leave that link really quickly. If anyone hasn't entered the giveaway yet, tonight is the last uh, time to enter. And we're going to be announcing the giveaway at the end of live tonight, too. So, there is that link right there. Okay, and I forgot what number we were on. Oh, 27. Oh, Norma's calling it. Congratulations, Norma. <laughs> Yay, these boots are made for walking. To you, because they're beautiful. All right, congrats. Um, all right, so this is our orange All Saints belt bag. Belt bag with antique brass hardware. And this is how much, Fedrin? 
Hold on, I think I need to switch headphones. I can't hear you anymore. Okay, what did you say? Oh, maybe you need to fix your... Oh, no, why is my headphones all the way down? Okay, no, I, I think it was mine. What did you say? Okay, these are going to be um, 130 but let's do $110. Knock off $20 on that one. The belt bag is in wonderful condition. And it's perfect for fall. Why is it doing this? All right, 28 is up next. There's the belt bag. Great little fall body bag. Okay, 28. And let's do... What do I have? Oh, I have another pair of shoes that are a size 36. If I could find the other shoe that goes with it. Um, maybe I can't find it. Where'd it go? Okay, I may have left the other shoe in the box, but this is it. Um, I know that the other shoe is in really great shape. This is a Balenciaga, um, like a ballet flat shoe, almost. It does have like a tiny, tiny little heel. Um, it has, I think it's called the Edge Hardware. And it's like a silver metal that goes around the leather. Oh, no worries, Kathleen. <laughs> Don't apologize. It's okay. Okay. You know what, Linda? It is like a burnt orange. You're right. Like, it's not like a bright orange. It's like a, like a burnt orange kind of color. What, Vedrine? Oh. Okay, so, Balenciaga Ballet Flat with the Edge Hardware. Uh, black Balenciaga Flat with Edge Hardware. Silver, size 36. Okay, these are um, one forty-five, but we're gonna do let's do one twenty tonight, and that's number twenty-eight. And these are size thirty-six. And then, hold on, I didn't do this guy. Okay, 29. Um, okay, up next, um, let's do a... Oh, let's do this guy. Okay, this is another, like... Oh, and no, I think I've already showed that one too many times. Let's do this guy. This is a Kate Spade crossbody bag, and this is in kind of like a mint... Color like a light green. Right? Light gold hardware. Got the cross body strap. It's not adjustable or removable. We have a nice large front pocket here. Like perfect to throw your cell phone in. Like that will just go in there really, really nicely. And then it does zip across the top. It also has a really cute, like, I don't, like, the hardware is really fun on this. I've never seen this hardware on any other um, Kate Spade bags before. And it just has, like, the little spade detail right there. And then the interior looks like this. It's in a black and white fabric lining. There's a zipper pocket. There's just some slight discoloration at the top by where the zipper is. But it's not super noticeable. But it is there. 
Oh yeah, this is a great like little silhouette. It's really cute. So this is our light mint green Safiano leather. Small Kate Spade crossbody bag with light gold hardware. And this is gonna be how much, Peter? Okay, we're gonna do this guy for um, seventy dollars. Yeah, it's a great everyday bag. I really like the color too. It's like a nice light minty green color. Um, up next. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be our last item, number 30. Okay, number 30 is gonna be our last item for the evening. What's it gonna be? I do not know. Um, I really want to, okay, I really want to show this one because this is like literally like my favorite bag right now. Exactly, CF. You're not picky. You just know what you want. That is totally right. This Michael Kors bag is so pretty. This is Michael Kors collection. Um, leather. It's blue and white. It's like printed in this really cool, uh, like a tie dye print. And it has white leather trim, gold hardware. This one's in like new condition. There's a back pocket right here. And then it has like this cool, like whip stitch detail with the grommets around the top flap. You Squeeze the hardware together in the front. This pops up. It is in a microfiber in the interior. It has two main compartments. The front one has a like a single card pocket. There's a middle pocket right there, and then there's the back. So that's what the interior looks like. Such a such a cute bag. There's the bottom. Has like little white triangles for the sides. And then this is what like the corners of the bag look like. It's so fun. Like I think this is such a cool bag. I also really like that it has the little top handle and then it has the removable and adjustable like thick crossbody strap as well. I just think that it has a really nice touch. And this is our last item for the evening, our blue and white leather tie dye Michael Kors collection satchel with gold hardware. This one is a hundred and twenty dollars. Um, did we sell the white coach, Adrian? Um, wait, did we have a white coach today? Uh, I don't think I had, uh, were you thinking of the, there was the white t-shirt, but it was like a, that was a t-shirt, not a bag. Um, I had like a little tan bag, but that was tan and not white. Was it from today, um, Corinna, or was it from another sale or like a, like a lot, like a, like a YouTube video. Oh, also, let me leave the link one more time, you guys, because we're going to be announcing our winner right now. But if anyone has any questions or anything about any of the items, let me know. But that is the link. Leave your answer to tonight's question right there. What are your favorite two YouTube channels other than mine? <laughs> Okay. Ooh, it's kind of getting a little cold. But I'm super excited. Someone's going to win our mug tonight. Oh, it's okay, Corinna. Um, can you send me um, possibly like a screen grab of the bag? And I, I'll let you know if I still have it. Was it the like the vintage one? Because I think that one sold. Because it had, like, that cream, like, vintage coach bag. Um, purse creator. Oh, purse creator. 
This is a vintage Brahmin. I don't know if you were here for when I showed it. I don't think you were. Vintage Brahmin. This is in like a off-white, creamy, taupe color, leather. And then it's like a woven like fabric. And then it has like these cool like bamboo wooden handles. Vintage Brahmin with brass hardware. Cross body strap. Um, had a brass closure. Uh, Cindy, yes. We we will send out this week for you. Vadrian, did you hear that? Did you hear me? Yeah. Cindy, yes. We will send out uh, this week for you, for sure. Mm, yeah, Corinne, I think that one sold with, like, the brass closure on it. Yeah, I don't think I have that one available anymore. I'm sorry. Okay, well, let's announce our winner. It's really late already. Again, I apologize. But thank you guys so much for being here. You guys are the best. I'm going to flood the live chat one more time with the link for the giveaway. And let me get my random YouTube comment picker up. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Yeah, Corinna, you can send, please send me a screen grab of it just to make sure. You didn't, oh, okay, Don. Yeah, I'll send you a mug. I have some really cute ones. So I'll send you a Starbucks mug. Okay. I'm going to pick the winner in three, two, one. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, Brit S. Congratulations, Brit. You are the winner of tonight's giveaway. My favorite Starbucks drink is a iced tea lemonade with one pump of classic. Brit, that is only one pump of classic? I feel like that drink normally has, like, five. You are amazing. You are, like, a, a skinny drink legend. Because <laughs> mine has, like, 50 pumps. But congratulations, Brit S. You are the winner of tonight's giveaway for our Starbucks Tumblr. Congratulations. We're going to be twins because I have one, two. Where's mine? It's right here. I haven't even used mine yet. So I'm waiting to use it with you. Congratulations, Brit S. You are the winner of our giveaway tonight oh there you are congratulations well there's a first time for everything Britt. you um you are the lucky winner of tonight's giveaway congratulations i'm super excited and let me know if you guys like this giveaway because i kind of want to do more like this or at least like a couple more if i can find like some cool holiday ones um i want to do some more for sure so let me know what you guys thought about that but uh, our next sale that I have scheduled is going to be for next Thursday, I believe, which is going to be the 10th at 11 a.m. Um, I think I will try to do another sale, though, like on Monday or Tuesday, but I'll let you guys know for sure tomorrow. So you'll see that. Uh, I'll let you guys know, like, in Discord or something, hopefully. Um, but thank you guys so much again for hanging out tonight. Um, tune in to the new YouTube video on Monday that goes up at 7 a.m. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Um, invoices should be sent out within the next 15 minutes. And I um, hope you guys all have a great Sunday. Oh, you're welcome, Britt. All right, you guys. We're going to end the, the video or the live here. I got to actually finished cleaning up after the party. I think I have some stuff to put away still and I got to get my room cleaned up because I have bags and shoes everywhere. All right. Good night, guys. I love you all immensely. Um, the Starbucks. Oh, Angela, I love those things. Okay. I'm going to look for them. I feel like I can never actually find them. I've only ever found them like twice. Um, I'll be on holiday. Oh, have so much fun, Melissa. I forgot that you were going to go on vacation. Have fun on your vacation. All right, good night, Susan, CF, Melissa, um, Dawn, Laura, Veronica, Angela, Britt, congratulations again, Marion, Dodo Bird, uh, Linda, 
CF, Tanya, uh, Corinna, Susan, a uh, purse creator. Good night, guys. I'm so sorry if I didn't mention your name, but I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all later. Bye!